the English Defence League was formed as a national movement against the Islamification of our country, and it was formed after the Royal Anglian Regiment parade in Luton, where the Muslims come out and protest against their troops coming home from the front lines. The heroes that put their lives on the line protecting us in our communities in these foreign fields come home to their communities to be um, welcomed home, and they're confronted with these Islamic militants calling them this, calling them that. Um, that was the spark from them that ignited the fire and brought people together into Luton to form what has become the English Defence League. There was a protest group, the UPL, there was a section of the community, the UPL, United People of Luton. They finally stepped up to the plate and did something about what has been going on in their community. Past generations have allowed the community to be taken over by Muslims. The youth now coming through are, are seeing what's happening and the youth rose up against the Muslims and they created the UPL. The UPL protested in Luton and from that other, well from that I got involved with other organisations uh, March for England. I've been following uh, the street protest movement ever since I started my blog. I was in contact with one of the first people to start the street protest movement in London, UBA. I was in contact with them when I first, very first started up my blog four years ago. So I've been following the street protest movement from there and seeing what they've done. I followed them, see March for England then come up, attended a March for England demo. and. Um, I brought them in to support UPL, also I brought um, a contact I had from uh, one of the biggest, well one of the most well known football firms in the country from Cardiff, um, everyone knows who he is, who knows anything about the EDL, um, I brought them together and I brought them in to support the UPL, so there was the protest in Luton, it happened and from that it was you know, it was the thing was, God gave the vision, God gave the vision to take it national. And that's what happened, it, it, it was taken national. People from all over the country come to a protest in London. We went to Whitechapel, only a small group, but there was a small group present, and, it, and we, we protested, we made our voices heard. From that, that caught the attention of other people around the country. There was a protest then set in Birmingham. Um, two members of the founding group went to Birmingham and um, they was joined there with several hundred other people that wanted to unite and join in the cause and it happened, Birmingham happened and then from then it, um, it has become what the English Defence League now is to, in a sense because from that obviously people then come in to, to take it over for their own objectives. Uh, that's when Chris Renton come in, he was a BNP gold member activist, which is all denied now, but it can't be denied because the facts are there, you know, this isn't an anti-BNP um, speech, but the EDL was not formed to be uh, a BNP front, the EDL was formed to be a group of English patriots to protest whatever political affiliation they're, they're joined to, uh, to protest against the Islamification of their country, their communities and what's going on. Um, so then you had Chris Renton come in and things obviously took the turn that they did and the EDL, even though it still grew, you know, it, my support and my leadership was there throughout with, within the EDL. I was in a meeting in London, I brought other people into this, into the EDL, I brought the political side that are connected with people all over Europe and America, I brought them in, I brought everyone together and you know, it, because the UPL had stood up to, like stepped up to the plate, they'd been led by Tommy Robinson, um, the alias Tommy Robinson. Um, we have to find out what the, the real Tommy Robinson thinks about his name being used in the way it is now. Um, the EDL then was born to become the national movement that it now is. Um, it had the support throughout, um, it had the backing throughout, um, until, it, until the point 
where for me, I could no longer support a bastardized version of what I had set out to create. And I set out to create the EDL, and like I say, because it was, a, it was an opportunity for people to come together as a, a protest, peaceful street protest movement against the Islamification of our country. I'd been under arrest for 18 months. Um, I'd been in America seeking political asylum, you know, I'd been out of the country whilst I was on bail because, you know, it's hard when you're on bail and you've got Muslims wanting to kill you and stuff like that. So my path was going the way it was and, um, yeah, just after I was released off bail was the time the Luton uh, anti-war anti protest by the Muslims happened. So I've just been released off bail, so then it was my opportunity to come in and actually get involved with, you know, with uh, what's going on in our country. So I did, you know, I was at, I was at the UPL protest in Luton in March. Um, I was there with the first ones in London, you know, I was there with people, I was there. I went to see, you know, to join the Bible. Like it says, write your vision down and run with it, and in time it will speak. And the vision for the EDL was written down through my in my blog, and it was written down through the videos I put out, which was to unite people to take to the streets. And they were the very first videos that were put out to promote the English Defence League as a message to go out um, to bring people together. One of the first ones, if you look on YouTube, is the calling. You know, seeing loyalists, they have actually put a video out and said, answering the calling, you know, so there are people out there that are answering the calling, the calling that God gave me to put out to people, to bring people together in our country, to defend our country, defend our heritage, defend our culture, defend our birthright, and most importantly, to defend our Christianity, which is the bedrock of our society. If you look at all of my work, from a few years ago, my signature was a red um, was a red cross with Deuce Vol underneath it. It was the Red Templar Shield. What was the shield, or what is the shield used by the English Defence League? It's that red cross on the shield. You know, so there can be no doubt that have smeared me and slandered me um, for their own purposes and for their own gain within the EDL. It's these people that have bastardised the EDL and made it become uh, just a bastardised version of what it is. And now people within the EDL that have been come up after the EDL was actually formed now say that I am trying to hijack the EDL when it was these people in the first place that hijacked the EDL. Chris Renton and his brother um, and other people that, you know, seeking to use the EDL for their own purpose. These people to say that I am seeking to hijack the EDL. When the EDL was formed by me, it was me that brought people together. All these people that are in leadership, apart from a few, are all in there because I brought them in. I put them in place. Steve Simmons, um, and but, but these people all turned on me and stuck their knives in, in my back when I was when I had my back turned. Alan Lake, I brought him him in and his people in. As soon as my back was turned, the knives were out and he was sticking a knife in my back. Thankfully, I had good good friends in um, my friends over at Gates of Vienna. They actually knew that this was going on behind my back and had to bring him down. Because these people that have hijacked it, they blaspheme the religion, they slander the religion, and they condemn the religion. The religion which they hold up the cross and profess the cross, you know. The English Defence League is a creation of my work that God gave me to do. And now's the time to step back into the mix and bring about order, bring about structure. It's now the point to step back in and reclaim the position.